The phrase, Jessica, we need to talk, echoed hauntingly in my mind, sounding a grim alarm that shattered the fragile calm of our suburban life. Mark's somber look conveyed a deep seriousness, making my heart heavy with dread. What is it? I managed to ask, my voice shaking with fear. Mark shifted uncomfortably, avoiding my gaze. I'm sorry to say this, but our business is failing and we're sinking under financial strain. We can't keep up with the mortgage or our growing debts. A lump formed in my throat as the harsh reality set in. But we've always managed our money so cautiously, I protested, struggling to understand. Mark sighed heavily, his face tense. There's more. I've met someone else. Her name is Maria, and she's pregnant with my child. His words cut through me, sharp and cold. Tears welled in my eyes and a wave of sickness washed over me. You've been unfaithful, I whispered. He nodded, a mix of guilt and resignation on his face. I'm truly sorry, Jessica. I never intended for it to go this far. Rage mixed with my pain. Sorry? Do you even grasp the extent of what you've done? What about our daughter, Pamela? How could you betray us? Mark met my gaze, his eyes empty. Maria's family is wealthy. They can offer the financial stability we need, he explained as if that justified his actions. I recoiled, the sting of betrayal deepening. So you're trading our marriage, our vows for money? He shook his head, his response sounding empty. It's not just about the money, Jessica. We've been drifting apart for a while. We've changed. Changed? I scoffed, my voice laced with contempt. That's your excuse for destroying our family? Mark stood up, his look hardening. I'm sorry, but it's over. I've spoken to a lawyer. You and Pamela will get an eviction notice tomorrow. You have 25 days. The room spun as his words hit me, evicted from my own home, discarded for his selfish ambitions. Something within me ignited in that moment, a fiery resolve to protect my daughter and fight back. Don't worry, Mark, I said, my voice steadying with newfound determination. We'll be gone soon, but this isn't the end. You have no idea what you've just started. Holding Pamela close as I left the room, I knew this was just the beginning of a new chapter. From the ashes of betrayal, I would rise, driven by a mother's love and a fierce desire for justice. The following days were a blur of sadness and disbelief as I packed our belongings. Each item was a cruel reminder of the life we once had, now crumbling away. Pamela looked up at me, her innocent eyes unaware of the storm around us. How could I ever explain to her that the man she adored as daddy had let us down in the worst possible way? Mommy, why are we leaving? She asked, gripping her beloved stuffed bear. I swallowed my tears and offered her a comforting smile. We're going on a little adventure, just the two of us for now, I told her, trying to sound cheerful. Her little brow furrowed, picking up on the tension in my voice. But what about Daddy? Isn't he coming with us? She inquired with innocent concern. No, sweetie, I replied, my voice shaking. Daddy needs to stay here. At that, Miss Pamela's lip quivered and I caught a glimpse of realization in her eyes. A harsh awakening to the shattered reality of our life. As the days passed, memories of our deteriorating relationship haunted me, each a sharp reminder of the fractures that had been widening long before Mark's shocking betrayal. You're working too much, he would complain, dissatisfaction coloring his tone. The house is a mess, and Pamela needs her mother. I would apologize repeatedly, promising to be better and more present, but his demands grew and his criticisms cut deeper. You've let yourself go, Jessica. Is it really too much to ask for you to make an effort? His words sliced through me, eroding my confidence and self-worth. Gradually, without even realizing it, I had become ensnared in a cycle of trying to appease him, abandoning my dreams and aspirations to satisfy a man who seemed perpetually discontent. Jessica, are you listening? Mark's voice snapped me back to reality, his intense stare pinning me down. What? I asked, my voice now tinged with defiance. 
I need you to sign these divorce papers, he said coldly, pushing the documents across the table. A bitter taste filled my mouth as I glanced at the papers. And if I refuse? His eyes narrowed, a menacing glint emerging. Then I'll make it very hard for you and Pamela. You wouldn't want her to suffer, would you? Anger surged through me, awakening a fierce spirit I had suppressed for too long. In that moment, I saw Mark for what he truly was, a manipulative, heartless monster who had squandered the best years of my life. You're right, Mark, I said firmly. I don't want Pamela to suffer, but mark my words, you won't get away with this. I'll fight you at every turn, and when all is said and done, you'll regret ever crossing me. His smug look wavered, uncertainty flickering across his face for the first time. As I signed the papers, a wave of liberation swept over me. I had broken free from the chains of our past, and a new chapter was beginning, one in which I would prevail no matter what it took. The burden of Mark's betrayal was heavy, suffocating me with every breath. Holding Pamela close, her tiny arms wrapped around my neck, I knew I had to be strong for her, if not for myself. "'Where are we going, Mommy?' she asked, a hint of worry in her voice. I managed a smile, smoothing her hair. "'We're going to stay with Aunt Cheryl for a bit, like a sleepover,' I explained. Her eyes sparkled at the thought of an adventure, and I silently thanked the heavens for the blissful ignorance of childhood, wishing I could forever shield her from the grim realities that loomed over us. As we arrived at Cheryl's doorstep, I felt a mix of relief and apprehension, ready to start anew, shielded by the love for my daughter and the resolve to rebuild our lives from the ground up. In a moment of disbelief, my sister's eyes widened. Jessica, what's happening? Where's Mark? With difficulty, I managed to swallow, fighting off the tears eager to escape. He's left, Cheryl. He chose someone else over us. Cheryl's face clouded with anger, her hands balled into tight fists. How could he betray you and Pamela like this? She demanded. I shook my head, too worn out to feel the rage myself. Right now it doesn't matter. We need somewhere to stay just until I get everything sorted. Without hesitation, Cheryl drew us into her home and her arms, providing a comforting embrace. Stay as long as you need to. You're not alone in this. We'll handle it together, she promised. In the following days, Cheryl stood by my side, offering unwavering support as I navigated the murky waters of divorce and custody battles. She encouraged me to meet with a respected family lawyer, ready to reclaim what rightfully belonged to us. Miss Julia, you have a compelling case, the lawyer confirmed with a resolute tone. With the financial discrepancies, the proof of his infidelity and his disregard for your family's welfare, we have a robust base for demanding child support, alimony, and perhaps even sole custody of your daughter. Hope sparked within me, a light at the end of a dark tunnel. I'm ready to do whatever is necessary, I stated confidently. Mark must be held accountable. The lawyer nodded, her expression tinged with a hint of a smile. Understood will strike precisely, targeting both his pride and his finances. Leaving her office, a newfound determination surged through me. Mark's betrayal had not only exposed him, but had also unleashed my inner strength. No longer just a shadow in his deceit, I was a mother and a warrior, poised to fight relentlessly for a better future for myself and Pamela. That evening, as Pamela slept soundly, I made a solemn vow. Fear and doubt would no longer steer my course. I was set to emerge from this stronger and more determined than ever. Mark had underestimated me, and in doing so, he had indeed sealed his fate. For a mother's love knows no boundaries, and I was prepared to do everything in my power to protect my daughter and secure the justice we deserved. The ensuing weeks were a whirlwind of activity with Cheryl's unwavering support. We meticulously documented every fraudulent act and financial wrongdoing by Mark. Are you certain you want to proceed with this, Jessica? Cheryl inquired one evening, her forehead creased with worry. It might get messy, and Mark is known to be vindictive. 
My determination was unwavering. It's not just about me, Cheryl. Pamela deserves a father who is present, not one who abandons her for selfish pursuits. Cheryl let out a reluctant sigh, a hesitant smile forming. Then let's take him down. As the legal battle unfolded, the depths of Mark's duplicity became painfully clear. This wasn't merely a fleeting indiscretion or a simple affair, but a deliberate scheme to secure his financial future at the expense of his family. Your Honor, Mr. Willie has deliberately drained our joint accounts, funneling money into secret offshore accounts for months, my lawyer articulated with righteous indignation in the courtroom. Simultaneously, he has been plotting his departure with another wealthier woman, intending to leave his wife and child in destitution. Mark shifted uneasily, his gaze flitting across the room. That's a fabrication, he retorted defensively. Jessica is just spiteful and out to strip me of everything. My lawyer coolly lifted an eyebrow, her stare unflinching. Really? Then perhaps you'd care to explain these bank statements? As the evidence, including wire transfer records, piled up in court, Mark's confident facade crumbled. His previously smug expression dissolved, unveiling a man driven by selfish desires, willing to sacrifice everything for his gain. You're a disgrace, Mark, I said, my voice a blend of pity and contempt. All this time I thought I knew who you were, but I was merely another piece in your twisted game. Mark turned to face me, his eyes ablaze with both rage and fear. You think you've won, Jessica? This isn't over. I'll make sure you and your brat pay for this. Before I could reply, the judge's gavel thundered, silencing the courtroom. Enough, Mr. Willie. You have shown complete disregard for the sanctity of your marriage and the welfare of your child. Your actions are reprehensible, and you will face the consequences. As the judge delivered his verdict, granting me full custody of Pamela, our house, and a significant settlement, a wave of relief swept over me. It felt as though a tremendous weight had been lifted from my shoulders, freeing me from the chains of Mark's deceit and lies. However, the look in Mark's eyes as he glared at me was chilling. It wasn't just anger or resentment. It was a deep, all-consuming fury, ignited by his wounded pride and a shattered sense of entitlement. At that moment, I realized that our battle was far from over. Mark's wrath would be formidable, but I was no longer the timid, compliant woman he had underestimated. I was a lioness, fiercely protective of her cub, and I was ready to do whatever it took to ensure our safety and security. The courtroom victory was significant, but the war was just beginning. Mark's furious gaze remained etched in my memory, a constant reminder of his unquenched thirst for revenge. We need to be careful, Jessica. Cheryl cautioned as we packed our belongings. Mark is unhinged and there's no telling what he might do. I nodded, my hand tightening around Pamela's small one. I know, but we can't live in fear. He's already taken enough from us. With the settlement money, I secured a modest apartment in a tranquil neighborhood, eager for a fresh start away from the toxic remnants of our past life. Look, Mommy! Pamela exclaimed her eyes sparkling with wonder as she explored our new home. It's all ours. I couldn't help but smile at her infectious enthusiasm, her innocent joy acting as a salve for the scars left by betrayal. Yes, baby, it's all ours. As weeks turned into months, I focused on rebuilding our lives, finding comfort in the routine of caring for Pamela her laughter and boundless energy lifting my spirits. Yet, the specter of Mark's wrath lingered like a dark cloud on the horizon, threatening to engulf us at any moment. One evening, as I tucked Pamela into bed, the shrill ring of the phone shattered the peace. My heart pounded as I answered, apprehension tightening its grip. Hello? Well, if it isn't the victorious Mrs. Willie, Mark's voice oozed venom. Enjoying your little taste of freedom? I steeled myself, refusing to be intimidated. What do you want, Mark? He chuckled a sinister sound that sent shivers down my spine. Just checking in on my favorite ladies. 
Wouldn't want anything untoward to happen now, would we? Are you threatening us? I demanded, ready to protect our new life at all costs. I felt my voice quiver as I spoke, a wave of intense anger barely restrained. Is this the last I'll see of you? I asked. He answered with a tone laced with feigned innocence. Oh, it's far from over, Jessica. Consider this a gentle reminder. The call ended abruptly, leaving me rattled and fuming with indignation. How dare he threaten us after everything he had done? In that instant, a firm resolve settled within me. I refused to be intimidated by Mark's hollow threats or his weak attempts at scaring me. I was a survivor, a warrior, and I was determined that my daughter Pamela would grow up without the shadow of her father's negative influence. The very next day marked a significant turning point for me. With hands that trembled slightly, I submitted my application for a freelance consulting job, my first step back into the career I had loved but had put aside to appease Mark. To my astonishment, job offers started flooding in, each affirming my skills and expertise. It felt as though a part of me that had been dormant was now reawakening, like a phoenix rising from the ashes of my past life. Immersing myself in work brought a sense of purpose and satisfaction that I hadn't felt in years. I was no longer just a wife or a mother. I was a woman taking charge of her destiny, paving a new path for myself and Pamela. As for Mark, his threats only fueled my determination. I was done being a victim. If he dared to cross my path again, he would meet a formidable opponent, a mother's fury, both fierce and unstoppable. The day of the final divorce proceedings arrived with an air thick with tension. I dressed meticulously, donning a crisp suit and reviewing my notes for one last time. You've got this, Jessica, my friend Cheryl encouraged, squeezing my hand for reassurance. He doesn't stand a chance against you. I took a deep breath, set my jaw, and steeled myself for the confrontation ahead. The courtroom buzzed with quiet murmurs and the rustle of papers as Mark's lawyers gathered, undoubtedly scheming ways to weaken my case but I remained undaunted, ready to face whatever came my way. As the proceedings began, I could feel Mark's hostile stare, but I met his gaze with steadfast defiance, silently challenging him to try his best. My client has been the victim of systematic financial and emotional manipulation by Mr. Willie, my lawyer stated confidently as the session commenced. Mark's attorney jumped up, his face red with anger. Objection! These claims are merely spiteful slurs. The judge waved him off. Overruled. Continue. With a nod, my lawyer presented a compelling collection of evidence, bank records, wire transfers, and incriminating phone recordings that exposed Mark's deceit and financial misconduct. As evident here, Mr. Willie has been funneling money into hidden accounts and has been involved with another woman from a well-to-do family, she declared, her voice filled with just indignation. Mark's expression twisted in rage. You're lying, he shouted, his voice thick with fury. The courtroom descended into uproar, prompting the judge to bang his gavel for order. Mr. Willie, contain yourself or face contempt charges. Through it all, I sat poised, ready to end this chapter of my life and begin anew, free from the shadows of the past. Mark had lost all sense of reason, his carefully constructed facade disintegrating right in front of us. You think you've won, Jessica? Do you think taking everything will make you happy? This is far from over, he declared, his voice laced with defiance. I locked eyes with him, my response firm and unyielding. It's over, Mark. Your web of lies and manipulation ends today. You only have yourself to blame. As the judge announced his decision, awarding me the house, a substantial financial settlement, and full custody of Pamela, a profound sense of relief washed over me. The chains of Mark's negative influence had finally been broken. I was truly free at last. But as I gathered my things to leave the courtroom, Mark's voice pierced the air, stopping me cold. You'll pay for this, Jessica, he hissed, his eyes wild with fury. If I can't have you, no one can. His words revealed the dark, possessive obsession that had driven his actions, but I refused to be intimidated. 
You're pathetic, Mark, I retorted, my voice steady with newfound strength and conviction. You have no power over me anymore. With my head held high, I walked out of the courtroom ready to start anew. With Pamela by my side, I felt unstoppable. In the days that followed, a peaceful calm enveloped me, and the burden of Mark's toxicity finally lifted. You did it, Jessica, Cheryl exclaimed, hugging me tightly. That bastard got what he deserved. I allowed myself a small, relieved smile. It's over. We're finally free, I replied. However, a trace of unease lingered in the back of my mind. Mark's last words echoing like a distant storm warning. Rumors began to circulate through our former social circles about Mark's erratic behavior and his downward spiral. Did you hear about Mark Willie? A neighborhood gossip asked eagerly, her eyes gleaming with excitement. He's been drinking heavily since the divorce, lost his job, his reputation, everything. I tried to ignore the gossip, focusing instead on rebuilding my life with Pamela, but doubt gnawed at me, a silent fear that Mark's anger might still reach us. Then, one evening, everything changed. Jessica, you need to see this. Cheryl said, her voice shaking as she handed me her phone. On the screen were grainy photos of Mark, disheveled and furious, confronting a woman outside a bar. His expression was one of raw rage, his hands tightly grasping her arms. Oh my God, I gasped, my heart racing with shock. What has he done? Cheryl shook her head, her expression a mix of pity and disdain. That's not all. There are reports he's been violent before. This isn't the first incident. The rumors swirling about Mark painted a picture of a man unraveled, his actions growing increasingly unpredictable and dangerous. As I stared at the screen, the realization hit me. This was only the beginning of what could be a long, troubling ordeal. We had to be prepared for whatever came next, and I was determined to protect my daughter from any fallout. As the sordid details surfaced, a chilling truth dawned on me. Mark's spiral into chaos wasn't just fallout from our divorce. It was a deliberate scheme, a final act of revenge against the woman who had stood up to him. He's unraveling, Jessica, Cheryl said, her tone thick with worry, and he might drag us all down with him. Despite the dark shadow of Mark's downfall looming over me, a strange feeling of justification began to settle within. This was his own doing his karma balancing out after years of lies and manipulation. In a moment of clarity that struck me like lightning, I realized that I held the power. Motivated by this revelation, I reached out to Patricia, the woman entangled in Mark's schemes and a key figure in the unraveling of our marriage. Surprisingly, she responded with honesty and vulnerability. Jessica, I'm so sorry, she said, her voice quaking with regret. I didn't see the full extent of Mark's deceit until it was far too late. He manipulated us both, and now he's losing control. As we exchanged our experiences, a connection formed. Two women resolved to escape the destructive hold of a man who had nearly ruined us. We can't let him continue on this destructive path, I asserted my voice firm with determination. Patricia's eyes lit up with a resolute spark. Whatever it takes, I'm with you, Jessica. With this unlikely alliance born from the wreckage of Mark's betrayal, we embarked on a journey to reclaim our dignity and teach a harsh lesson about the consequences of one man's arrogance. Mark had planted the seeds of his downfall, and it was time for us to harvest the storm. The following weeks were a flurry of activity, a strategic blend of retribution and redemption. With Patricia at my side, we began to dismantle the toxic legacy Mark had left behind. Are you sure about this, Jessica? Patricia asked one evening, concern etching her features. There's no turning back once we start this. I nodded, my resolve unwavering. Absolutely. Mark needs to face the consequences of his actions, not just for us, but for every woman he's wronged. Patricia's expression hardened, a steely resolve taking shape. Then let's do this. 
Our first target was the crumbling empire of Mark's business. A bit of investigation revealed a trail of financial misconduct and dubious transactions that had been hidden under the guise of success for years. You see, Your Honor, I declared in court, my voice filled with righteous indignation. Mr. Harley has been systematically defrauding his investors and partners, funneling money into offshore accounts for his personal use. Mark's face twisted in fury, his fists clenching as he spat. You're lying! His eyes were wild with rage, but it was too late. The evidence was irrefutable, and the judge had no choice but to side with us. Mark's business empire was dismantled, his assets seized, and what was once a formidable business empire was now nothing but rubble. Although we had triumphed, our task was far from complete. Our next challenge was confronting the influential social circles that had long supported Mark, where his harmful presence had thrived unchecked. At a significant gathering, Patricia stepped forward, her voice clear and determined. She began, Ladies and gentlemen, today we confront a difficult reality, a tale of one man's corruption and the deep scars he left on those around him in his quest for control and riches. As we expose Mark's wrongdoings, the initial shock among the audience turned to anger. One by one, his former supporters distanced themselves from him, severing ties with the man they once respected. Throughout this ordeal, Mark's anger deepened. He threatened us spitefully. You'll pay for this, Jessica, and you too, Patricia. I'll make sure you both regret crossing me. But his threats felt weak. The desperate words of a man who had lost everything, his wealth, his influence, and his identity. As the situation settled, a new reality dawned. Mark Willie was no longer a powerful figure, but a stark warning of the consequences awaiting those who overstep moral boundaries. Amid these battles, Layla was my unwavering support, my beacon of hope and resilience. Every victory seemed to boost her confidence, and her eyes sparkled with pride. One evening, as we watched the sunset from our balcony, she snuggled up to me and said, Mommy, you're a superhero. I kissed her forehead gently and replied, No, baby, I'm just a mother doing what's necessary to protect her family. At that moment, it became clear that all our hardships had a purpose. While the marks of Mark's betrayal might never fade entirely, we had managed to rebuild ourselves from the ground up, stronger, more resilient, and more formidable than ever. We had transformed into survivors, true warriors, with an unshakable bond between a mother and her child that no force on earth could ever tear apart.